I ordered these off Amazon. I already opened them for Daniel. It says, thank you for supporting small business. We would greatly appreciate if you could leave us a review on Amazon.com so other customers can be made aware of the quality of our products. Anyway, these are hooks for his outdoor kitchen. I'm going to give a few to Dad, too. I think 10 came. I'm going to keep a couple for myself because I'm always using hooks. These are a hammered... Uh, it called them a railroad spike. I don't know if they're real railroad spikes or not. I don't think they really are, but they were called, that's what they were called, railroad spike. Um, small railroad spike. <clears throat> I'm going to take them down there in a little bit. i got to get dressed. I just got up. Hold on, I can't get this box closed up. Well, Levi, I'm going to get dressed because I can't stay in my sleep clothes all day. I don't know if Dad has started working on his bricks yet because I haven't talked to him since I didn't talk to him yesterday. Um, Daniel's going to bring in mortar. And uh, hold on, I told him to get some Gorilla Glue, construction glue, to glue the bricks to the wall behind. Behind. And then, so you would glue his first row to the back wall, then put the mortar then put glue on the wall and put his next stack. So each stack is getting glue and mortar. Um, I mean, it's not like we're trying to really build a fireplace. He just wants to build a nice wall that won't go anywhere behind his fireplace. So um, anyway, I don't know if his glue came in. So I'm gonna go down there and check on him. I didn't get a video out this morning like I normally do, so I will get y'all a video out sometime today. Um, and then some some time between between now and Thursday, I've got. I know that y'all don't like some of you guys don't like the reviews, but I was sent another pizza oven. We know Levi loves pizza, so it's not a big deal. I just need to put it together and um do a pizza in it for him and but it is so hot outside i mean so hot i'm tired of talking about the weather but it, that's like the number one hold you back from doing things because it is so so hot anyway um i'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast get dressed go down see him what dad's doing come back maybe I can put the pizza oven together in here and if it's not too too heavy carry it outside um, and then make a pizza in it that evening might be that might be the easiest way to go anyway um, but that that video won't come out until Thursday so um all right I'm gonna go and uh, get a little bit of stuff done here and eat some breakfast get dressed and then I will see y'all a little bit Good morning, good morning, kitty cats. I got started out here a few minutes ago and I heard, uh, I could hear Levi. So I knew the door didn't shut behind me. I to go back and shut it. Good morning, chickadees, duck ducks, Molly. Look at her. Molly, you ready to eat? <laughs> she's so frustrated. She's like, what are you doing? I'll give her her bottle here over the gate. Here, just take your bottle here real quick. Every now and then she has a hard time getting it because her mouth is getting big. 
And sometimes it takes her a minute to get a good suction going. I know what all y'all are saying. She's over six months. Why are you still giving her a bottle? I'm gonna give her a bottle until this bag is gone. And this is almost a brand new bag, so. She's probably got another, at least a month. Well, she only gets one bottle a day. I only give her a morning one now. It'll probably last a month. All right, you're almost, it's almost. That's it. That's it. Okay, hold on. Let me get your food. Get her can of food. Let me sit y'all here for a minute because she, she's a little rough when I'm trying to get in there with her. Hold on, I'm coming. Just now remembering, now that I think about it, headed out to the ducks. See these few chickens that are out? Big Red can't come out. He can't fly up. For the most part, the few that are in there with him right now, if they don't come out while this gate's open, they'll get locked inside and they have to stay here all day. But these that are out right now are because they flew out already today. And I know lots of you guys said stuff about, well, Caden's been helping Daddy, so I need to get him. Caden, he, he's 13, and yes, I could be teaching him how to level things and uh, screw things in and all that kind of good stuff. I could, I could, but it's hot. And not only do I not want to have him out here in the heat trying to learn something. I don't want to be out here in the heat trying to teach him. Come on, girls. I'm almost out of scratch. Probably have to place an order in a few minutes. And then after I get back from checking on Dad and seeing what he's doing, then run on to town. Look at Red, he's gonna go out of here now. That's how smart he is. He'd rather be out here scrounging for food than to be locked in. Too funny. All right, now I am going to open Molly's gate, this gate right here. So when she's ready, oh, I can't right now, the goats are up. Um, as much as I love those little men right there. Frodo! Good morning. Sam! Morning, Sam. They will run her out of her stall while she's eating. So I'll just have to give it a little while till they move on. Move on down the, into the field. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, look at this. Yeah, I'll go in real quick and place an order at Tractor Supply so I don't have to go in. I keep saying I am going to start using the feed store, and I've said it, and I've said it, and I've said it. But there is such a convenience. Like right now, Leva has a prescription at Walgreens. I need to pick, I think I have a prescription too, at Walgreens that need, look, I need to blow off the porch. This is where I had the ferns down when I was watering them. Look at these chickens back up here. Oh, I didn't get the lattice put up under there last night, but I got two pieces out to see if it was gonna fit. And I just shoved them in here right now so they can't go under. Off red, go. Ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and start feeding the cats back around on the steps. Y'all remember, that's where I used to feed them. Hold on. That's where I used to feed them, on those side steps. 
and I only brought their food around here when me and mom were going to be at the beach. Remember that week? Because I wanted Steph to have easy access to all the food in one place. So I guess I'm going to have to retrain them to go to the side steps again to eat. That way the chickens can't get to them. There are a few chickens that end up on the outside out there. Um, honestly, Red does not fly good. Now he manages to flop his wings hard enough to get up because he sleeps most of the time on top of that garden. On my garden, on that rail across the, the gate, he sleeps up there at night. Last night he slept inside with the hens. But, uh, so there are some, the, he can fly, he just doesn't do it all the time. Or at least he flops hard enough that he can get up on something. Because remember, I don't know if I told y'all that I was looking for him and I thought something had gotten him. He just, I'm already just like sweating. Um, and he was out in Stephanie's pat, uh, backyard eating the seed off the ground from underneath her um, bird feeder. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying. I know I was talking about Caden. So I don't want to try to teach Caden how to do things in the sun, hot because I don't want to do it in the hot. It is too hot. So that is, yeah, maybe this winter I'll have some jobs and Caden can help me and he can learn some stuff. But, um, and Connor has been doing things since he was little bitty with me. Um, in fact, I went down to build a shelf at mom's. This was years and years ago. Uh, a shelf for her playroom that was, it was just made out of one by 12. And it was like three, almost three foot long, but it was just ba basically a little, it's about a foot tall because she just wanted it, the TV to sit on it. Oh my gosh, look at me. She wanted the TV to sit on it, but then she wanted the cubby part of it to hold books and um, on one end and then on the other end she had diapers stacked or pull-ups or whatever and baby wipes, stuff like that. So I just took everything in the back of my truck and I was building it on the, I mean, literally we're talking about screwing four boards together then putting a back on it. And, uh, but I was having to hold, so I had Connor. Uh, he was playing with Lex. They were both on the trampoline and I said, Connor, come over here and help mom, uh, help Nanny. And uh, Daddy was on the porch and after I was holding the boards together, Connor was putting the screws in them. And uh, Dad said, if he had asked Lex to come over there and do that, he would not have known where to start or what to do or what I, he was even trying. But that's because Connor was doing things with me because I kept Connor when he was little. Um, he was just, what, three, three months old or something. Whatever, whenever Steph's um, leave from her baby having the baby maternity leave was over. So three, three months or something, I got Connor every day, all day. Uh, in the summer, he was with me a whole lot. Like even having like little bitty baby, but sleepovers because it was just easy. I didn't have to get up the next morning and they didn't have to drive all the way from, she's not only working wherever she worked in Houston area, then driving to Atascacita where they live, or, and then driving on to my house from Atascacita, which is a 30 minute drive. Buddy was coming from Willis. He was in Willis at the time, ISD. So it was just, and especially in the summer, it was easier. And there were often a few times that even during the school year, Connor would have a sleepover, but I would take him to mom early in the morning because mom had already stopped working and was keeping Lex. And when Lex's mom and Lester were together and they lived right here, mom would go down the driveway to Lester's house and, and Lex's mom would meet her at the door. She was trying to get, she's a teacher. She was getting dressed for her, you know, to leave for work and she would give Lex to mom. Um, and then there were a few times that mom would get there and she was running really late and hadn't even got Lex up yet. So then she would bring Lex to mama. 
but that was mom's basically job then was keeping Lex as a baby. So she had Lex as a baby like I had Connor as a baby. Connor made every move I made. If I built something, he was there building it with me. If I was mowing, he was playing on the trampoline or in the pool with, with Levi in the summer. And, you know, it was just, he was just here. He was here. And I guess with my boys, I didn't do as much as I do now with my boys. Um, when my boys were little and we built the little house up on the hill, me and daddy worked on that house. I guess my brothers did too a little bit. I don't really remember how much, but once it got dried in, we were living in it, even though it wasn't finished. And I think I've already talked about that, putting that uh, house wrap on the insides of the walls so the kids wouldn't get insulation on them until I had money to buy the, the sheetrock. And once I put that up, I, there was still such a big roll left. And I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna put this on the interior walls too, the divider walls between rooms. That way, <clears throat> all I could think was now when I go pee, I'm not looking through the studs into Buddy and, and, and uh, Tony playing on the floor in their little room. It was just a two bedroom house. A uh, real small little house. Anyway, I didn't, I guess because they were young in elementary school and stuff, and I was at some point um, back then, I didn't drive a bus yet. In fact, I didn't start driving a bus until I was pregnant with Levi. Uh, so, yeah, they didn't, what little things I did, I, they didn't have a part in doing any kind of building and I didn't really know how to build either at that time. I've gradually done things on my own and sort of taught myself how to do things um, or at least attempt to do it and hope that it turned out okay. And somewhere in there I realized if you, it don't look good when you put it up, when you put some trim up, it might look good. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't, but with Connor, I was older I had time because I was just driving a bus then, so I had the middle of the day free, and he made every little step I made, no matter what I did. He helped build. I've got so many pictures of him dragging two by fours, this little bitty thing, because I'm working on the floor of this shop out here. <clears throat> just, I've got pictures of him with a stick poking the, stomping the um, concrete around a post where I was putting in a fence post. He just, he did, he just did everything with me. Um, but it's just hot right now and I don't want to do it myself. So I'm sure not going to be out here trying to teach someone else how to do it. Anyway, I'm fixing to uh, throw some feet out for these cats and get down there and talk to dad and see what he's doing for the day. Um, I do want to tell, say something real quick before I, throw, before I finish this video or at least throw it out there. So it's in this video and y'all hear me. I've had so many people say, oh, I'm so glad you made a video. I thought maybe you had stopped. And I've had lots of those comments. So I'm, all I was thinking was, okay, well, you're not seeing my videos because, except for today, because this is gonna be a late video, it's still gonna come out today. But normally y'all would wake up Tuesday morning and there'd be at 7 a.m. a video had posted. And, um, but I want y'all to know that we were all talking about it. Buddy was saying something too, like some people were saying they hadn't seen them in a while. And I don't know if the analytics have changed or, or what with YouTube. But I do know that if you go to one of my videos, like this video you're watching, uh, back out of it and then look at the title where the title is, not in the screenshot, the little picture, but down where the words are, where it says title, and it says more, off to the side is a little bell. If you click that bell and then hit all notifications, it will reset and start bringing my videos back up to see it on the minute I post one, you get a notification. Um, and if, if you've been noticing that with dads or Lester's or Jamie's or anybody else's, Jake's, uh, Breeze, if you've noticed it with anything, do, make sure you have that little bell 
click the little bell. Then when the drop down thing opens, click all notifications or something, all. You wanna make sure it's all of them. So it will let you know every time something posts. Anyway, I thought I would say, tell y'all that. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna feed these. She's eating. What are you eating? Honey is cracking an old, like last year, pecan. Anyway, y'all can see this lattice. I just threw it, that that piece gotta be, well, I mean, it's not gonna stay like that and it's dirty and nasty, but that's all that plastic lattice that come off of Jake's around his house. I'm just gonna cut it down to size so it'll go, um, it'll go even with the stair treads. And uh, I'm gonna do that this evening after I get back up from seeing dad or whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna feed and get in and put some clothes, get out of my night clothes. But yeah, um, oh, this poor thing needs, I didn't water this poor thing, look at it. It looks like sage or something. Maybe I can get it, maybe it's not dead dead. Maybe if I spray it, it'll look happy by this evening. But who knows? Anyway, the water sink. Anyway, I'm going to feed these cats and I'm going to get, oh yeah, it's like, poor plant. I'm going to sit right there. All right, I got to put this phone on the charger too because it's showing that my, it keeps popping up that my battery's out. Um, I will see y'all in a little bit. No movement out here. There he is. Filming his goats or his chickens or something. Who knows? All right, let me show him what I brought him. He's looking at me. He just seen me. You filming me? I'm filming you. I come to see if you were working out here, but you weren't. I said there's no movement out here, but there he is over there. Okay, Dad. Dad, there's always an excuse. It's like you you have to go down a list of excuses. I ain't got excuses in order. <laughs> I brought you some stuff. <sighs> I brought, there's a pencil right there on the ground. You probably need it. Yeah, I was using it yesterday. All right. Later. I, I don't have the pencil. It's still over there. I didn't, I didn't pick it up. Two o'clock. One sideways and one behind it. We'll take us to the, to the sink. All right. Daniel up. left already? Yeah, you're going to go to San Antonio. Oh, poor Dan. Yeah. Well, he don't mind traveling. No, he's going to try to go and be back today. It's a long, it's a long drive. Leave it there. thinking about water catchment yeah. well, we haven't had any rains for a month I know. and even then it was 
hit and miss. We got one each year and we still a couple weeks ago. All right, I'm coming. I think that one on the end will match me. I got him set up in there. We got the block set, pad sitting on top of the blocks, and I showed him how to start the course of bricks. I'll show y'all that real quick. So it looks good. That's how it'll be. She is coming home with me to eat and get out of the heat. Hi, baby girl. Go home. Go home and eat. Yes. Get in the air.